everybody I'm here as promised and um, again I want to do a very small introduction because you're gonna look at this video and you're gonna look at me all wrapped up like this and think that I'm nuts uh, this is another and I'm not gonna say Arabic anymore because I was told that that's not the right way to pronunciate that so I'm gonna say Arabian uh, this is another Arabian look this is as promised this is not a copy this is not a replica of anything this is an inspiration this is this color combination I came up with and the designs on the eyes now very much inspired by the videos that I spoke of in my previous video the wedding videos and this is another way that I see that they wrap their heads and I think the whole thing is a religious thing and the whole purpose is to hide the hair and um, they're all covered up here and their wedding um, what we would call I don't know was it the satchel or I didn't have that type of a wedding so what the brides wear on their heads here in America they wear but they wear it with this uh, pendants and these long very bejeweled looking ceremonial like it matches their gown but very long type of head I, I, I forget what you call it oh my god brain fart you guys know what I'm saying the headbands that brides wear. Theirs is very bejeweled and colorful and very full on just like the makeup. If you guys want to see what I'm talking about just search for uh, I did Arabic weddings and I'm told it's not pronounced that way so Arabian or Indian weddings and you will see what I'm talking about. And so that's where all of this comes from. And this is very full on makeup. I personally would not go out with all of this on. Uh, of course I would go out without the heads because I'm not Arabian. But um, this is very much inspired and I hope I did, did them some justice here uh, by Arabian or Indian women's makeup and so this is my second video and I hope you guys like it it's a color combination I came up with the eye design I also came up with but you will see that they don't only do the full eye they'll do things like this <clears throat> excuse me it's the first time I attempt it and I have a lot of and that's why I kept this out this is by LA colors this cost, I think it was a dollar. It's a very, very pretty highlight. And it's a loose pigment by LA Colors. And I have that all over my brow bone and all inside this area. And I don't know if I held it up long enough for you guys to get a good look at it. But you don't have to go get really expensive glitter or, speaking of which, a dollar, wet and wild is what I have on my eyes. It's no different than anything that you see um, on your YouTube videos or you you wouldn't be able to tell if I'm wearing something from Sephora or Ulta or from the dollar store. You would have no idea if I didn't tell you. So there is no difference. So save yourself a, a few dollars and get something that is affordable and does the same exact job. Now the lips were a combination of colors and this is the Kate line that I'm referring to uh, and Rimmel carries these and I believe Kate is Kate Moss, the model and uh, she's got a lipstick line with a Rimmel and they're all matte, beautiful colors. So this is a really bright poppy type of red and so I have that all over the lips and then to get that nice 3D effect I use this lip stain which is just a little bit lighter than the matte and this has a, a small amount of gloss in it 
so it's not as matte as a lipstick but this is in the middle of the lip and so you have that light to dark so that ombre effect on the lips as well as the eyes there is a very soft blended cut crease at the end of the eye and that's for definition and you will see that all of them do this so this is just very much inspired they do their makeup a lot a lot like we do but just a lot more dramatic so it, it's very full-on very full coverage and in this video you'll see I used an elf foundation serum it wasn't full enough coverage so I went over it with bare minerals and that gave me a, a really nice decent amount of coverage I forgot to cover this with some concealer here um, but the foundation covered it pretty well the redness of it I have a pimple a real nice little friend that came to visit me and so I also on the ends of the lips put this purpley pinkish reddish the combination of all those colors this is by hard candy and it's called this is the one called wanted and so that's why you'll see I combine different lipsticks because the end thing is the ombre 3d effect that you can do with makeup and so everybody's doing it it's really not anything new it's just in so um, uh, of course I bejeweled my head this is actually a necklace again by my grandmother's collection that I have I'm not Arabian so I don't have special jewelry for my head uh, they all do though so they must all have head jewelry I just found a necklace that was long enough to have the same effect this is a wrap that I happen to have sitting in my closet and I just fixed it up pretty much it's um, what I what I see they do and a couple of little pieces of jewelry just for added effect and drama and I think that's all I want to say about this look there will be one more and I hope you guys really really enjoy it till next time hello I am back and this is going to go by really fast as you can see I am putting scotch tape on my face so you'll hear a little bit of TV in the background I'm watching the primaries the election so um, I'm listening to that and here you'll see I am putting scotch tape that's going to give me a nice really really sharp edge and I am using my coastal scents palette I picked up when I showed you this is the arrangement of colors I'm going to be using some pinks and purples and that's going to go up in the top with those brushes that I've just held up and now I'm going to prime with the wet n wild primer that I use always always and then I'm going to also use what I always always use the NYX concealer on top of that with a concealer brush that helps a lot with longevity and also the, not the texture, I was going to say the texture, but the um, vibrance of the colors. You're going to also notice that I'm going to use a NYX cream blush under these colors. Here it is. And that's going to make the pinks more pink and the purples more purple. Neat little trick. That's actually a blush though and that's by NYX. It's very beautiful. Now I'm going to go up as I'm pointing out the colors that violet, purple, I'm closing a door here and, and I'm using my, my uh, fluffy, my LA Colors fluffy brush because that's just going to go all up, that's my transition color. It will go all up on the upper and the lower crease and then that dark purple on the lower crease. And then I take a really light pink and I just blend out the edges on the top as you can see all using the same brush then I'm gonna come in on the edge with the wet n wild blending brush that I have and also the elf and just blend everything out then going back to the LA colors brush and another light pink just the edges on the top 
because I want a really nice gradient there. So you can see the colors graduating and, and it's hard to catch that on camera. So that's what I'm trying to do. So I, I end up going back and darkening each color and then going back and re-blending them out. So that's what you're seeing here. And as you can see, I'm working on the edge of the tape. It also helps with you getting really messy and not having to care too much because the tape is going to pick up the mess and still give you that nice sharp edge. And you all will also see a lot of the Arabian women, um, I can't call them Arabic anymore, so Arabian women or Indian women using tape for that purpose. And so I'm taking, I didn't hold it up, but this is the LA Colors I spoke of in my introduction. This is the, the uh, pearl, the dust, the loose pigment. And it's actually not called that, but it's really light pink. And then here with the NYX white, this is a milk jumbo pencil, and taking the first half of the eye, and then with the e.l.f. black, and I call that the waxy black pencil because it's supposed to be a cold pencil, but it's really, really not. So it's very waxy. So that's my little waxy pencil, and I'm using it as a base and also to get a nice soft cut crease. And that's at the last half of the eye, or last actually third of the eye. And then I'm just taking a concealer brush and starting to move that around, because then I'm going to start laying the powdered colors on top. And so I'm taking that, that's a small stubby um, it's not a blending brush it's actually another kind of brush but anyways that's by elf and I'm taking a black and going over that's gonna set that and then taking out a small concealer brush by elf and sharpening the edges by just brushing the black onto the brush from the pencil and that's just gonna sharpen the cut crease I'm going to go back with the black shadow and blend it out some more. As you can see with a little stubby placement brush. And then another stubby little elf brush. And I know the names of these brushes, but this is going really fast and I don't have time to sit here and think of every name of every brush. So you guys have seen all these brushes before. And then I just showed you the black that I'm using to go over that black pencil. And then now we're going to take a concealer brush and take that gray. And that's a real satiny, dark gray. And going over the milk, that's going to set that as well. And it's also going to bring out the gray. And then taking a Wet n Wild single glitter. This is a silver glitter. And I'm going to just... Toss it onto the gray and just sporadically, there's no rhyme or reason to how I'm placing it. And that's pretty much it for the shadows. The eyebrows and one eye is done off camera as far as liner and, well, as you can see, uh, lashes. So I'm going to do the other eye on camera. I'm here with the Sephora and I used this in my last video. This is a waterproof black pencil. I'm just mapping out the top and then I'm taking it into the waterline and on top of the bottom lashes, that's important. So you don't want any flesh to show there. And then taking that pearl, you can see the LA Colors pearl. And I spoke about that in my introduction, so I'm not gonna worry about that either. And then here taking the e.l.f. cream not gel cream black and it's very 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 pigmented and an elf angled liner brush I am doing the liner and as you can see I didn't close off the eye entirely I did a little wing at the end of the eye bottom and top and full on the top and then I come out to right near the tear duct on the bottom and lay down like a sharp edge coming down. That's not easy to do, that's really hard. And I didn't come out too much in the pictures, but I did do it on both eyes, I promise. And so here goes the rest of the eye. 
And then the lashes that I use are, I use two because their lashes are so dramatic that I had to use two to get there. And so I use one by Salon, I believe it's Salon Perfect, and the other one is the J Lash by Profusion. And just clumped them together and made a big, pushy lash. And that's a neat trick. If you're going out and you want really bold lashes, that's a neat trick. Because to get them like this, to buy them that way, is really expensive. So you can just get two lashes glue them together and stick them on and I'll show you the glue I'm going to show you the glue and everything that I use and here I'm continuing to line the eye top and bottom the difference in this one is obvious I didn't close the eye off so here I am curling my lashes and I use that same L'Oreal mascara because this is just to get some mascara on so I can get get the lashes on and there's the lashes I used I just spoke about those I'm just putting like a coat on and then I'm smack both of those lashes on with the duo glue and I like the clear one um, the black one is okay if you've got black liner the one that dries really dark and then getting into the face makeup this is their mineral nourishing primer I'm using. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. and this is the the foundation that I'm using is is also it's like a BB cream really and I had to go over that which I do 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 it and I put it on camera but this is a serum this foundation is a serum they only come in three shades uh, light medium and dark I have the medium one it's like a BB cream, so I, I go over this with my Bare Minerals, and I have the natural medium shade, medium beige, and that gave me a nice, a very nice uh, amount of coverage and a very, very nice finish. So that's also a neat trick that I picked up, actually, in this video. I learned something. It's that nice uh, foundation with that, mix it with this powder foundation it comes out real pretty so that's it in the way of foundation the brushes are by bare minerals and I do my concealing and my and my uh, what you call it with my Maybelline and I believe it's age rewind and what I what I meant by what you call it is the highlighting. This is moving really fast, and I'm just trying to keep up. And that's an Elf Kabuki brush that I blend that out with. This is an Elf color stick that I and I use this all the time to get a little contouring line, and I go over that with a little bit of contouring powder in a second. And this is a generic powder that I keep on hand. Um, I don't even remember. I think Avon makes it. And after I set this with the or blend this, I'm going to set it with the Avon that powder right there, and it has no red in it, no orange, so it's just a nice ashy brown, and it has more more of a natural look to it. So it just makes your cheeks look sunken in, which I like. And then using the Elf bronzers, and these are the sun-kissed ones, and I have four shades. And that's the e.l.f. blending brush, the new one that I've got. And I'm using that bronzer. I didn't take too much on the forehead. But the circumference of the face. And then using the Sephora blush, this is their darkest shade. It's like a reddish. You see it looks like blood. Uh, and I use a foundation brush that's by e.l.f. to blend that out. And I take it all the way back until it's in to nothing seamlessly and I'm gonna go over that and I show you two blushes I end up using the one by LA colors and it's like a burgundy color sorry for the background noise that's my husband and right here the one on the top is the one that I use the other one is artisan and um, you'll find that in the drugstore and using a, a blush brush by bare minerals I put that on. This is by Wet n Wild. That's the Fergie collection. That is a highlight palette. 
and a bronzer at the same time. Excuse me. And here, going well in with the pearl. And I'm going to stop one second. As you can tell, my family is very rude. So I'm back. And as you can see, I'm just highlighting my face. And that was the pearl by Physicians Form Formula. And here are all the lipsticks that I spoke of in my introduction. And I'm just going to be applying them uh, in the order of the matte, the Kate Moss lipstick uh, by Rimmel. And then down to the lip balm and the uh, hard candy purpley pink reddish one. And of course, I line my lips. And guys, that's pretty much it. I'm sorry for the interruptions. That is so rude. My family's so rude. And I will see you really, really soon with the next one. And I'm really excited. So till next time, bye bye. Thanks for watching. Donald Trump won the primaries, and I'm really depressed, so I gotta go.